Lima, my name is Magnus Bettner, comic from uh, Sweden. Just did a gig here at the Fringe in Edinburgh. Enjoyed it, I was tired, but they were nice, so I had fun. On the way into your gig, I, the doorman said to me, it's not for the faint-hearted. Oh, all right, yeah, well, I, yeah, I guess it isn't, but it's, uh, I don't consider my stuff being offensive or dark or whatever other people want to label it as. I just want to talk about stuff that interests me and try to have some fun with it. And I guess some of the topics that I choose is, is going to, you know, get one or two of the people in the audience to leave on occasion. Yeah. But it's not, you know, I'm not doing it to be provocative or, you know, offend people. I just, I think we're all grown ups. We can deal with the dark stuff. It's around, so why not talk about it, you know? A sketch about your daughter. Yeah. It was kind of sweet and unhinged at the same time. Yeah, but that, I think that happens to everybody who's doing comedy that gets a kid. Even even getting a kid close to you, like people that have s siblings getting kids, they will start talking about it because they're just so much fun. You can't get around that. You know, it's it's one of the funniest things in anybody's life that has a kid. They're gonna say stupid things and do stupid things. So I've been doing quite a bit of that. You know, and I'm not. You know. You said that you don't tell lies when you were on stage. No, I try not to lie to my audience yeah. or make stuff up. You know, if yeah. I say something actually happened, that's that's the truth. Or maybe I twist it, you know, a little bit. But it's in general, yeah. I try not to lie. I wanna I wanna be honest to the people coming to my gigs. A lot of what you say seems to be underpinned by principles. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I, mean, I, I just wanna, you know, try to have some. I don't know, call it conscience or try to make the world a better place if you want to be really, you know, I, I want to talk about stuff that I'm, that disturbs me, that is, that is, that I think is bad and try to get people to think about them and uh, that's what I want to do and if I, if you're doing that you can't lie to people, you can't make stuff up, you can't, or you know, you can, other side of it is the fact that you can't do sponsorship deals, you can't do commercials, you can't do that sort of thing because you have no, at least to me, you have no merit as a political commentator uh, if you do that. So I'm staying away from those types of things. And the celebrity stuff, I don't do that either. I just want to do comedy live and try and be as honest as I can about stuff. I found your set interesting as well as amusing. Uh, All right, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, that's good, yeah. And one of the things was that you said that there had been a lot of stuff, weird stuff in the press. Yeah, yeah. Which I mean, there is, there is always. True. I guess there are a lot. There are a lot of guys talking about similar stuff, but that the focus of the media is just. It's just strange. It's it's you, something that should be a tiny story gets the the entire coverage of every single media outlet for a week, and it shouldn't even be a story, you know. And the real stories, like now, that would probably be Syria or some place that I don't even know. Yeah. Uh, you know, Africans dying in some of a famine or of a civil war that we don't give a shit about. And then some, I mean, a guy killing 11 people at the movie premiere, that's a horrible story. But is it really, are we putting it in perspective? I don't think so, you know. They're, 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 probably, they're probably 100, 200 people died in Syria that same day. And that gets no coverage, you know. And a suicide bomber in Afghanistan or in Iraq, it's like tiny. Yeah, or the, another guy. If that would have been in Europe, that would have been the biggest story of all all year, you know. And they have it like weekly, and we we just can't care. Which is logical, of course. But I I try to, you know, bring some of those stories up in my in my show because I I'm, I'm interested in it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.